um, good morning everyone i'm madhuri peri doing my pre final uh, year in engineering from india and uh, as i mentioned i'm doing a project for government of india these days uh, which actually tells about uh, which is totally dedicated to older people and the rest of background has been discussed so first of all i would like to thank all of you for sitting over here early in the morning to have my session and then um, so yeah let's continue with the talk so my talk would be on twitter wall um, using local look apis local look i have used to uh, some of the apis to build a local twitter wall so why have i gone to twitter wall and all i will be explaining in the talk it is a very interesting story kind of thing so yeah this is me by the way in the picture i look a bit different but it's okay so <laughs> so that is my twitter handle you can find me over there and my github profile all has all the projects i have been doing and i am doing right now then what i will be covering in the talk is what is local app what is a twitter wall what are the steps to build a twitter wall and how will you run a twitter wall in your local system and trust me it's more easier than creating your facebook account i believe it <laughs> so what is local app what is local app So Locluck is a server application which actually collects all your data related to um, various sources, various social applications, but mostly on Twitter. So this has a search index, and this search index is mostly based on Elasticsearch, and it uses Kibana, and then it has a peer-to-peer -peer, um, sharing interfaces also, which helps you to talk to your peer. who also uses a local app and makes your um, work more easier and then you have this um, totally in the back end which helps you to retrieve all the data related to twitter so that you can you do your analytics related to twitter or any other um, you know diagnosis you want to work with the tweets so what was the problem and what are twitter walls i will be explaining in this slide so what when you attend for a particular event and you want to find what all is happening in that event you actually have to go to those sources and got to know that what even for example take this conference you don't know what is happening in the other hall when you are in this but if you have a local twitter wall for this event you can just tweet it so that the other people in the other hall can also read that in the twitter wall and can actually get to know what is happening on the other side of the world so that was the reason i got to know i was fascinated personally i went to a hackathon uh, called met for day which was conducted by government of india and israel together so in that uh, we got to see some twitter wall that was hashtag met for day and everybody tweeting on that um, using that hashtag met for day was reflecting on a screen so actually that fascinated me a lot and i thought okay this is something kind of information kind of thing because people who are on the other side would actually be knowing what are we doing on this side so if they are interested after their works they can just join us so this was the idea that i had and i thought i should actually implement this but getting information from twitter is kind of you know messy job because you have to uh, run for this uh, api um, acceptance then all this stuff so i was actually searching for a project which or a server technically so which would help me to get all this information so that i can put it on the same place for one hashtag whatever i have created and that i could reflect on a screen that would help not only me but also other people to actually join into it so this was a basic idea that i had and i wanted to implement this so uh, that was the problem and then i got a solution of twitter wall so i actually didn't know what twitter wall was i just knew that there was a screen where i was getting all the tweets related to that event so i went up to people and i asked what are those things how are you getting all the tweets related to a particular event so that's when i got to know about a concept called twitter wall so what are twitter walls is you give a particular keyword like you create a hashtag for a particular event and you search for the tweets related to that keyword and you put them together on a screen that is what a basic twitter wall is it's as simple as that then um when i went to the conferences and all i saw these kind of uh, twitter walls and i wanted to build one of my own kind right so why did i choose local so very um 
like I told you, I was searching for a server which would help me to get all these tweets. So in that process, when I was uh, going through all the um, you know uh, projects or organizations or whatever it was, so barely because of someone's help, I got to know about Lookluck. Then I went through the documentation, and this kind of fascinated me because you can just use its data, being an anonymous person, and you can actually play with the data, which is a very um, you know um, bliss kind of thing for a person who wants to. Um, play with all his stuff. So why did I choose only Lookluck? Is it collects large amounts of data from Twitter, and you can just put it together. Then you can you don't have to um, authenticate. Um, you don't have to undergo the authentication all the time for your APIs or requests and everything. And you can um, share your tweets or tweet archives with the peer of Lookluck. If I am using Lookluck and any one of you are using Lookluck, then we can actually communicate through our tweets. We can share our data. We can share our statistics, and we can actually help each other in developing our own stats. And then, <coughs> I'm so sorry for my throat. First of all, and you can uh, use this data and create your own evaluations. You can um, do anything you want with the data, and the data is more secure over here. That is the best part. You you don't have like you um, have these fears of getting data from somewhere else, and maybe your system may crash. Sometimes it happens that your system hangs out. So all these things, I think, this never happened to me, at least during my project time. Next, what are the goals for this thing? I wanted to learn all or some APIs provided by Lookluck, and I also wanted to build a Twitter wall of mine. My own very Twitter wall, and so how did I build a Twitter wall using Lookluck? In this, what I did was February twenty second and twenty third. We had a we had a fest in our college, which is our um, native fest. So there, I built this Twitter wall. By that time, I just posted it in my college, and I used a hashtag. I I'm sorry, I don't have those screenshots, but uh, it it is called Madehanvish. So I created a hashtag called hashtag Madehanvish 2K17, and I just uh, told my peers that whoever want to, you know, um, use this, just use this because I want to know how it looks like. So I just told them, you do it. So they started tweeting with the hashtag Madehanvish 2K17, and trust me, there were around uh, people of my college and other colleges visiting. So they, um, we got some around for two days. We got somewhere around three thousand tweets. That was like wow, because we had like two days. We have more than five hundred, six hundred attendees, and everybody started tweeting. Like once I told them there's a Twitter wall, you can tweet, you'll be displayed in the things. They started tweeting it because they wanted their profile picture to be there. That's a different issue. So <laughs> then uh, they started tweeting it, and the search API of Lookluck it gathers all the Tweets that has this hashtag of the event you created, and so it started displaying, and actually it went very well. My management was happy for that project. So, and then, so how do you um, for designing this local -like wall? You have only two steps involved. First, you have to have your setup, I mean server in your system, and the second one is that you should have a great GUI so that your people are happy to see it. So first one is installing your server. So installing your server, you just have to clone the repo. This is the link of the repo, and then you have to do the steps like CD. You have to shift to that local server uh, um, directory. Then build a Gradle. In in in, uh, in uh, before to this, there was Apache and happening, but now I uh, prefer going for Gradle build because it is better tool than Apache and. Then you have um, these steps to follow. Like you have to activate the server for the first time using a command of Java. The next one you'll have to do some uh, basic commands. <coughs> so for the first time, when you do this command like Java um, hyphen xmxig um, hyphen, so uh, after you do this, you uh, start doing the command cd bin, so that it makes your server run automatically and you don't need to set up it all the time. 
So once you set this up with these two commands, your server will run all the time. So uh, then the next part comes to your GUI. So for this, uh, I've used Flask as my framework. And um, so server is set, your Twitter wall will be ready to work. So you have to create a GUI, which you like the, the way you, are, you want your Twitter wall to look like. Then you have um, Python to act like framework. And um, this is the step by step. I'll show you in my demo. How do I uh, do this? So once you complete these steps, you can see your Twitter wall on the crew. So this is the address where you can see your Twitter wall. This hyphen 5000 and localhost is the localhost of your system. It depends on uh, the IPv4 address of your system. Next, this is how my Twitter wall looked like. This was the GUI and that was a tweet I did for Foss Asia. So, <laughs> and back side you can see some other tweets, but I wanted my picture on the PPT, so I took mine. <laughs> Next, uh, so I'll show you the demo. So if you can see, I've already um, done all these steps, but I'll show you once again. Okay, I'll just do it from scratch. So, uh, CD, font So at first you'll you'll go to the directory where your uh, local wall is present. Is it okay now? Sorry. This fine? <laughs> okay. So you go to the directory where your local wall is present. Then
So what are the future plans of this project is? It's still in its initial stages and uh, I want to make this a UI, UI more better and probably would be using this for other events other than my college one I told you. So yeah, any questions? actually tells that uh, there is a scheme called Indira Gandhi Avaz Yojana. So under that, uh, the old age people or the people who are eligible for that scheme should get pension for some amount. So due to some reasons, there is a database called NSAP database which has the, all the information related to who has to get and how much has to get. So due to some conflicts of database or because of some reasons, there are some people who are not getting it who are eligible, who are not getting it. So what we have to do is we have to segregate all those people area wise and uh, put them on a, um, together and we have to swap it with this uh, database also so that they start getting this uh, uh, pension yeah. any more This is basically, I have done this for uh, Fossacia. I have used the keyword Fossacia for this. But actually, if you want, you can change okay, this. Multiple, multiple. multiple, you can do that. But I have given the base, default keyword as Fossacia. So does it then, are you, is your UI able to segregate the, you know, the different hashtags into different streams within the stream? Or is it going to be mixed up as you as it goes through? Um, if you had two or three different hashtags, okay. In the same tweet. 